Well, we get to talk about ratios and rates right now. Have you guys ever heard of a ratio before? Yeah. Yes. Have you heard of a rate before? Yeah. Yeah. By the way, these, these, last, uh, these last two chapters, well, there's three chapters. Chapter 10 is pretty much designed to make you succeed at Math A and Math C. But chapters <coughs> 6 and 7 are basically designed to get you to be successful in, in life, life math. This is stuff that you see every single day, rates and ratios. Uh, if you get pulled over by a cop, right, what do you, what do you tell him? You, they, he asks you, how fast are you going? What do you say? I don't know. No, I say, I was under the speed limit, officer. <laughs> I'm lying right now. But like, let's say you're going, your speedometer, what's your speedometer say when, when he pulls you over? 75. 75 what? Per mile. 75 no. miles per hour. Per hour. Per That's a ratio. That's a rate, actually. That's a rate. You deal with those all the time. You ever cooked anything in your life? Yeah. Do you ever, you ever have to double a recipe? Yeah. That's a ratio. All right? So when, when we double things, that's a ratio. When you're comparing uh, price per pound, or price per pound, or price per ounce, dollars per ounce, things like that, you're, you're talking about rates and ratios. So we deal with these things all the time. In Chapter 7, we're going to talk about how to find out uh, sale price, discount price, increase price, your commission, if you work commission. Anybody work commission in here? Do you know what commission means? You yeah, get paid for what you sell, um, you get an extra. You get a percentage of what you sell. So if you have 10% commission, that means if you sell $1,000, you get 100 bucks. That's pretty cool. So it, it, it motivates you to sell more. We're going to talk about commission. So these last couple chapters really are designed to get you to be successful in your math lives. It's kind of important, right? Not like balance a checkbook type stuff, but pretty much everything else. So ratios and rates. We're going to talk about ratios first. Here's what you need to know about a ratio. A ratio basically just compares two numbers. That's all a ratio is. In fact, you've seen ratios before. That whole fraction section that we did, every fraction is automatically a ratio. It's just comparing two numbers. So a ratio, what we're talking about is a comparison of quantities with the same units. same units. The same units is important because that's what signifies the difference between a ratio and a rate. You see, race, rates are going to have different units. That's where we get like miles per hour, hour, miles per gallon. Ratios don't have that. Ratios compare two things with the same units. For instance, if we are out there on, on the track and I said, okay, we're going to shot put, and I throw it 30 yards, and you throw it 10 yards, well then, that's a comparison that we can make, right? I threw it 30 yards and you threw it 10 yards. That's three times as far, but you know, whatever. Not, not comparing or anything. Uh, but that, that right there, that's a ratio. It's a comparison of those two numbers. Let's, let's simplify a little bit. Let's say that um, instead we were picking up, I don't know, a desk and threw a desk. I threw it three feet, you threw it 10 feet. That's one way that we can represent that ratio. Notice how the units are the same, those feet. From here on out, we're going to have to write the units on our, all our problems because they're, they're important for us. You've got to tell me what you're talking about. Now, when, I'm sorry, when we get to rates, we're going to we're gonna have to do that. So we can write ratios three different ways. First way, we can always write a ratio as a fraction. For instance, for us, we already have that on the board, three-tenths, three-tenths. You also might have seen ratios before with a little dot, dot, that colon. You ever seen ratios with a colon? Mm -hmm. Like three to one or something like that. Uh, gear ratios, if you're into automotives at all, uh, you'll, you'll talk about rear end gear differentials and you'll be like a, like a 3.4 to, to one or something like that, which means the, the uh, 
the front has to turn 3.4 times for every one rotation of your tires. Uh, that's what that means. People deal with those all the time. Your, your gear and your car are, are, those are all ratios from your transmission to your, your rear differential. Well, there's a whole lot of ratios that go on there actually, but that's a very simple, simplified version. So you could write this with a colon. If you write a ratio with a colon, here's how you do it. Please pay attention to how this, this works. This is 3 over 10. This is 3 over 10 is our fraction. With the colon, you'd write 3 colon 10. Looks like a time, like 310. How we say these is a couple different ways. We could say, if we're talking about ratios, 3 to 10 or 3 to 10. You ever heard that 2 part yeah. when you say a ratio, 3 to 10? Yeah. That, that colon stands for the word 2, 3 to 10. Or you could actually write it with the word 2. And actually spell it out. 3 to 10. So three ways you can write a ratios. <clears throat> Note one, one thing. When we're dealing with ratios, for instance, like this one, can you write this one as a ratio all three ways? Let, let's try that. Ratio of 15 miles to 45 miles. We're going to do that right now. First way we could write this is as a fraction. Y'all tell me, which number is going to go on the top, 15 or 45? 15. So we go 15 miles over 45 miles. Hey, hey, that's a fraction. Can you reduce fractions? Yes. That means you can also reduce ratios. They are fractions. Let me show you a couple things that happen here that's unique to ratios. Watch on the board. When your units are the same, they actually do simplify in your expression. So you don't actually have to write the miles anymore if your units are the same. That happens with ratios. It doesn't happen with rates. With rates, your units will be different. You must write them. But with ratios, we don't write our units. We'd say that this is the same thing as, well, how much is 15 over 45? We'd reduce that. You get 15 goes into 15 one time, 45 three times. You would get a ratio of 1 to 3, or 1 third. That's your ratio. You'd say 1 third or 1 to 3. Now, can you write this with the colon, and can you write that with the 2? That's another question. Yes. As a colon, which is going to come first, the 1 or 3? One. We'd say 1 to 3. Or as the, as the word 2, you'd say, yeah, these are basically the same. You're reducing a fraction. 15 over 45 is 1 third. So a couple little notes here. When you're talking about ratios, the units aren't written. We don't write the units for ratios. So the units are like the miles? Units are not written for the ratios, so yeah, that's like your, your miles or your feet or your inches. Then why did you write miles right down the fraction? Notice how I got rid of them. Oh. Also, you need to know that your ratios can be reduced. They can be simplified. Okay, so let's, let's recap some ratios here real quick. I'll give you some examples in just a moment. I'll move on to rates. So ratios, they're simply a comparison of two numbers with the same unit. So we have one number over another number. It's basically a fraction. We don't write the units for a ratio since they're the same. They're implied to be the same. We can reduce them. We can write them in three different formats. Fraction, uh, 1 colon 3 or 1 2 3. That's pronounced 1 2 3 either case. Now let's go ahead and try to figure out some of these other things.
Okay, 1.68 to 4.8. Hey, firstly, could you write this in, in a different format? Yeah. What could you sure. replace that word two with? With a fraction. fraction. I, could, I could do a fraction, or I could do the, the colon. Oh, yeah. I could do 1.68 to 4.8 like that. That's possible. Also, if I made this into a fraction, what number would go on top? 1.68. By the way, I don't know if your book does this, but I want to show you another thing that you can do with, with these ratios. If you translate that to a fraction, what you can also do is you could get rid of those decimal places. Here's how you do it. Notice how you have a decimal on both the top and the bottom, right? You move the decimal in the same direction on both the numerator and denominator, the appropriate number of places to get rid of any decimals that you have. For instance, if I was looking at the 1.68 over the 4.8, which one has to move more? Point. How many times does it have to move? Two. That means I would have to move this one how many places? Two. Two. What would I have to put there? Uh, zero. zero. That means this is the same fraction as 168 over 480. Now, you all have your calculators, right? Because I've asked you to bring them from now on. So hopefully you should have those taken out. Now, on your calculator, can I see your, your calculator time? On your calculator, if you have a scientific calculator, you're going to have a fraction button. With your fractions, what's kind of cool about your calculator, it'll simplify your fractions automatically. You don't have to do that anymore in this class because you, you now have a calculator available to you. If you punch in that fraction, you'll put 168. There's a little fraction symbol over here. It should be like an A, B, C, something, something like that. Let's see. Of course, I can't find this on Brian's calculator. N over D. Thanks, Brian. You said that too. I did. Yeah. Over 480, you punch in your fraction. I don't know if you can see that on the screen right there. You punch in 168 over 480, press enter, and it will automatically reduce that to you, for you. It'll give you 7 over 20. That's kind of cool with your calculator, right? If you haven't brought a calculator, you need to start bringing it. It's a requirement for this class from here on out. Uh, you start bringing it every single day. So if you reduce that, you're going to get 7 over 20. So there's lots of different ways you can represent that, that ratio. In fact, as a matter of fact, could you write this a different way? Could you write that as 7 colon 20? Sure. Yeah. 7 to 20? Absolutely. There's lots of ways you can represent our ratios. Let's see. Let's go ahead. Why don't you do one on your own? Let's do 2.5 to 3.15. I'd like you to write that as a fraction, get rid of the decimal like I just showed you, and then reduce that fraction. 2.5 to 3.15. 